Hey there, Lickin' Riffers! Welcome back to yet another awesome guitar lesson here on Lickin' Riff, in which I'm going to show you two more awesome guitar chord solo progressions. Okay, by two more, I mean that I've already made one lesson on two awesome chord solo progressions. You can watch it after you finish with this one. Um, so, in this lesson, we're going to learn these two solo okay, progressions. Okay, you can do it anywhere you want. Okay? and lead into your choice of major seven chord. Okay? Um, I'm gonna break it down for you. The second chord progression actually goes upwards, it goes like this. Okay? Uh, which again, leads into any major chord you wish. You can start it anywhere. Okay? Okay? You can start from anywhere and go anywhere. That's the beauty of chord solo progression. Okay, so uh, before I break it down for you, I wanna thank Skillshare because they're giving you two more months of free premium access to their courses. They have music courses as well. They have piano courses, they have ukulele courses, you have uh, guitar courses on Skillshare. Also, uh, you have composition lessons, you have theory courses, you have music production, mixing, mastering courses, electronic music production courses, vocal training courses for those of you who wanna sing. But they also have tens of thousands of courses that are non-music related like um, photography, video editing, graphic design, marketing, uh, financial planning, creative writing, anything, okay? Painting, drawing, anything you can think of, they have courses for it on Skillshare. So click the link below in the description and go grab your two months, two full months of free premium access to all their courses, okay? When you watch the courses, two months just fly by, so I'm warning you, this is very, very addictive, but you're learning, and uh, what's more fun than learning via video? So uh, thank you, Skillshare, for offering Lick and Riffers uh, your courses for free for two uh, full months. And um, what can I say other than go grab it right now? This video will still be there when you return. So. For those of you who just came back, welcome back. Let's start with, okay, the first uh, chord progression. Okay, this is basically a minor seven chord moving around with an added ninth, okay, which gives it a jazzy sound. But all it is is a barred finger, okay, with the little finger just adding one note and taking it off. So you can start anywhere, okay? You can put your uh, finger on, let's say, seven, okay? And you play strings one, two, three, and four, and you play, the, the solo that you play is nine and seven on the E string, okay? And you can, you can play the chord twice if you want, okay? There's a way to uh, make this solo even cooler, but I'll save it for the end of the lesson, so, Okay, you start from 9-7, okay? You put the little finger or the third finger um, two frets above the bar and take it off. Then you take the bar two frets down and you do the same thing, which changes the chord, but you have the same high note, okay? Okay, so you have 9-7, 7, 7 9, 5, 3, and then when you wanna finish, you do a major seven chord, one fret below your last note, okay? So if you're on three, okay, you put a bar on two and you add the little finger three frets above it on the fifth string, okay? Now, this is D major seven, so you can do it with the open D string, okay? But this only works if you start on seven. Anywhere else, okay, you need the chord shape. Okay, so uh, if you start on 10, okay, 12, 10, okay, you have five, and you add the little finger on eight on the fifth string. If you start from nine, 
Okay, you have the bar on four at the end. If you start from eight, you end up on three. Okay, you can do it anywhere. Okay, now the second chord progression is, uh, is, is terrific because it's all seventh chords. Um, but you don't have to play um, the whole chord. Okay, you can just play the top of the chord. Okay, so you start with a major chord anywhere on the neck. Okay, so let's start from F. Okay, now you play strings one, two, three, and six. Okay, because it's the E shape bar. So you don't really have to put on the chord. You can just put on the bar and one fret above it on the third string. But you don't have to, you can just put the whole chord. And then, one note above the high note, which in our case was one, you play a D7 shape. So if you play F, the natural chord would be D7. But then you go chromatically up again to three and you play G. Okay, you play the E shape bar again. Okay, so you can play it as a seventh chord or you can just play the high notes. Okay, so you have F, D7, and then G. And then you do the D7 shape on four. Okay, so you have this, but you need the bass. So you do the whole shape. You do four, three, four, two. Okay, on strings one, two, three, and four. Four, uh, four three, four, two. Okay, this is E7. And the next chord is up one fret, so it's A, it's on five, and you can go on. Okay, so you can lead into any major chord that you want to finish on. If you want to finish on, let's say, um, well, if it's low, if it's G sharp, then all you have is F sharp, E flat seven, and G sharp, but it, it also works. Right? And it's the chromaticism on the high note that works the magic here. Okay? It's the glue that connects everything together, the whole soul. Uh, if you want to finish on C, you can start from F sharp if you want. Okay? And finish on C. Okay? It's, uh, just remember that it's an even number of frets below it. Okay? If you're on C, then you're on eight, so you can start from two, you can start from four, okay? Right, got it? That's the chord progression. Now, if you want to um, jazzify the first one even more, you can take the bar down one fret when you do, okay, and create this, okay? And then you have, okay? And then you have an extra chromaticism there because then the, the bar goes chromatically down. Okay, but it's a little bit more complicated, okay, because you have an extra chord shape. So, again, let's start with seven. So you have seven and nine, but then you have seven, right? So you take the bar one fret down to six and you add seven on the high string. Okay, so you have a seventh chord. So, and then you take the bar one fret down to five, but you leave the seven on the first string. Okay, so okay. Now this uh, makes it a little bit more sophisticated and some of you may not like the way that it sounds, but that's the way to go about it. Okay, so ah okay, it's confusing. Because the major chord, the major seven chord at the end, stays on the same fret as your seventh chord. So remember that. Okay, so. Okay. So you go and grab your two full months of free premium access to Skillshare to tens of thousands of courses. Click the link below in the description. 
thank you very much for watching. Thank you Skillshare for uh, offering Lincoln Refers your courses for free. And I will see you the next lesson. You go practice this and bye for now. Enjoy.